Hey everybody, it's Mike Pinger from charliesangels.com here with another Charlie's Angels collectible for you to enjoy. Today we're diving into the high fashion of iron-ons. That's right, Charlie's Angels on iron-on t-shirts. Iron-ons in the 70s were huge if you were there and you remember. Uh, Charlie's Angels was no exception. Charlie's Angels had licensed iron-ons, but there were a bunch of unlicensed iron-ons. Today we're only going to look at some of the iron-ons that were licensed that I have in my collection. We'll do another one later with the ones that are unlicensed. And sometimes the unlicensed ones were even cooler than the licensed ones. So, jumping right into it, here is the Charlie's Angels. This is not an iron-on, but this is a, uh, a print on this uh, little little kid's t-shirt, if you can tell. It's a little tiny, tiny one. Uh, they made it in both, of course, Farrah Fawcett and Cheryl Ladd. Um, it had Charlie's Angels, and they had the signatures on the bottom uh, of the for the Angels. This These you could purchase through, like... Um, through the catalog, through like JCPenney's or Sears, uh, they had them there. You can see ads for these, uh, but they also re they did one with Cheryl Ladd when she arrived on the set. But of course, sadly, I don't have one. That's hard to find. But I do have this little child's iron-on T-shirt with the logo. This is an official the Buy Right poster made into an iron-on that was released in 1970. Eight or 77 to 78 uh, during those years. Uh, of course, I have it in a nicer version so we can really enjoy the full brilliant color of the Charlie's Angels uh, poster that was in an iron-on. Um, I've actually worn this. As you can tell, it needs to be washed, but I don't want to wash it because if I wash it, it might hurt the iron-on. We don't want to do that anyway. Uh, each of the angels had their own iron-ons for their characters. This is the Chris Monroe. It says Cheryl Ladd as Chris, and then has the Charlie's Angels logo on it. Um, I do not have the um, the Jacqueline Smith, uh, but I do have the Farrah Fawcett, but it's not ironed on on a t-shirt, so it's, it's just an iron-on. So, uh, And I, every time I try to iron on things, it just... It goes horribly wrong, so I'd rather have it just as an iron-on. But here is Kate Jackson's. It's a little bit different. Um, this is the way the Farrah and the Jacklins uh, look with uh, them in the middle. and had the logo, and then it said, you know, Kate Jackson as, ja as Sabrina on this one. Then it would say Kelly, uh, Jacklin Smith as Kelly, and then Farrah Fawcett as Jill. Um, maybe I'll try to find those photos and put them at the end. They also did Charlie's Angels uh, in the same kind of manner during the 70s. And these are ones that I actually purchased and I ironed them on. And as you can tell, when pulling off the iron, it kind of screwed it up. But it does look cool. I've worn this shirt also. So this had a fair Jacqueline and Kate, of course, Charlie Zaner's logo on the bottom. Um, and now there's no, yeah, there's a, there's a legal uh, copyright on that one. I have a couple with uh, the Cheryl Ladd group that do not have the legal uh, copyrights on it. So I'm assuming that they were, you know, illegally made. Of course, I showed this one last a uh, couple weeks ago. This is the Shelly Hack one. Um, look, I folded it so good I can't unfold it. Um, and this came out in 1979 with the girls uh, with the clout and with Shelly and Cheryl and, uh, of course, Jacqueline Smith. All right then, guys, here we are, the Charlie's Angels Irons. These are all official ones that were made. They made a ton of them that were not official, and I will uh, do another video with all those because I have a bunch of things that they were unofficial. And um, also I'll do another one with the ones that Sony Pictures did in the uh, early, late 90s and 95. Uh, I used to sell them as in charliesangels.com. So anyway, so here you go. Ah! Throw a Charlie's Angels shirt on. Hey, Sabrina, how are you? Let's go out. <laughs> hope you have a great day, and uh, I hope you enjoyed it. Bye.